What's up everybody, MC Murr here and welcome back to the show and it is time once again to mess around with our At Games Legends Flashback Deluxe. And I gotta tell you, if you watch the show, you know we got some serious action going on this thing not too long ago. We got the NES ROMs added to it. We got Super Nintendo ROMs added to it for a total of over 7,000 playable games on this unit when we were done, but we can't stop there. You know we're not done. There's obviously other brands, other games, we want to get added to this thing if it will take it. You know, the mind immediately goes to Sega, to Atari. What else can we do with this thing? And we're going to try to push those boundaries today. Hope you're ready to do that with us. We've talked with the community in the comment section of prior videos about whether or not this could even be done. And we've talked with the retro game community's very own EC Myers about some tips and tidbits things that he employed when adding these ROMs to this machine and luck that he had with it. I want to go to him now so that he can share with you some of these helpful hints that are going to help get you on your way to doing what we are going to do in this video today. EC? Greetings, Mar Nation. This is Eugene Myers, EC Myers Vids, and I am delighted to be part of this video talking about the At Games Legends flashback. Now, I'm a huge fan of the channel. I've been watching for a while. And it's in fact because of Murr that I picked this thing up in the first place. I watch all his uh, reviews because he does really great thorough reviews of kind of overlooked uh, consoles, things that people are probably going to pass by. And I'm really glad I didn't miss this one because I've had a lot of fun playing around with it and tinkering with it. Now, it doesn't take too much tinkering. You already know that it can run NES and SNES ROMs directly off of the SD card. Uh, but you're probably wondering about Sega Genesis. Uh, since it has so many Genesis games included on the console. Now, uh, Genesis games, I thought it would be really easy to just drop a, uh, M a ROM file onto the SD card and just start playing it, but none of the ones that I dropped on were working. And so I went back to MC Murr's video where he had John from Gen X Grown Up uh, uh, helping him out with uh, getting ROMs loaded onto the SD card. And I realized that all of the ROMs that he had loaded on were uh, .bin files. So. I found a program called SBWIN that lets you convert Genesis ROMs from one file format to another. I convert all the MD files into .bin files, and I drop them on the SD card, and they worked. Now, it's possible that you can just rename the file dot from .bin to from .md to .bin. I don't know if that works. You probably are also wondering about Atari 2600 games, though, because those typically have .bin extensions, and the Gen the At Games Legends flashback does not see them as uh, Atari games if they're if it's looking for .bin files to be Genesis games. So uh, in order to get a, an Atari 2600 game on here, you need to use the .a26 extension, A26 for 2600. Um, and that I can confirm, you can just take a .bin file and rename it to A26 and it will work. I used it with a, a ROM of a Pink Panther game, an unreleased Pink Panther game that was recently um, shared online. So that worked perfectly fine. So. That should get you going if you want to play Genesis games on here. If you're still waiting for the hack to the Genesis Mini, uh, there's no need to wait. You can pick this thing up, uh, play it with a pretty decent Genesis-style controller, and away you go. All right, thanks much. Hope you have fun. Thanks, EC. That's some good stuff there. Hope you were taking notes. That's some very important stuff to know when you're getting into this thing so this stuff will work right for you the first time. So grateful for that. Great tidbits right there. It's a plan. We got a plan. We want the plan in action. It's time to get that plan in action, see it in action. We're gonna get down with some dirty work now. We wanna get in there with the man, with the master plan, like a boxer with faster hands. We're gonna be talking to Big John at Gen X Grown Up. John. Hey, MC Murr and Murr fans far and wide. Thanks for asking me again to appear in another one of these cool ROM videos. Luckily, EC has done all of the brain work, and so it's up to me to do the grunt work. And I'm totally cool with that. In a previous video, we already provided all the SNES and NES ROMs for this flashback, which is cool. And so what we want to add are the Genesis and the Atari 2600s. And by the way, if you're having trouble finding ROMs, look, we can't give you ROMs. That's kind of gray area stuff, but it's easy. Just go to Google and search, you know, like Genesis. Genesis full ROM set or Atari full ROM set or something and poke around. Make sure you got your virus wall up and you got your malware blocker running and all that because you might find some nefarious stuff, but there's plenty of easy ways to find these things. So don't be uh, kind of discouraged if you're like, I don't know how to find these ROMs. You can totally find them. It's not that tough. 
So I've got here a really clean set of Atari 2600 NTSC only and Genesis USA release ROM. So I could get tons and tons of ROMs just to get numbers high, but what I wanted to provide Murr is a really clean set that has not tons of duplicates and way more bang for the buck here. So I'm just gonna create a folder to put everything in. We'll call that uh, Murr. Uh, and into that, we have to kind of create some stuff. So I've got all these Genesis ROMs and right now they're all zipped up. We need to extract them and rename them. So everything's done extracting now. I put things in two folders. You can see the Genesis stuff here has the .md extension. We're gonna fix that in a second. Atari has the .bin extension. Some have the A26. We're gonna fix all of that. Again, that's with advanced renamer. So let's drag all the Atari ones in first. We'll get started with that. Remember two things we're gonna do. We're gonna change the file extension so the flashback can find it. So A26 in this case, and we're gonna put a prefix on it so Merck can find all the Ataris grouped together. I'm gonna to start with a replace method and we're just gonna do a really easy uh, anything. So asterisk, replace with A26. Uh, the second one we're gonna do is we're going to add some content. So right at the beginning, we're gonna add, these are Atari, so I'll do, uh, let's do a V, we'll do ATR for Atari. I think that's pretty clear. We'll put that right at the beginning. And you can see in the examples here, it's going to put an ATR at the prefix and put a dot A26 on all of them. Uh, and click start batch. So now look at this beautiful Atari folder, ATR prefix, A26 extension, gorgeous. Let's go do a very similar thing to Genesis. Again, we'll drag all of these files in. Now with our same rename method still sitting here from Atari, all we need to go is change that A26 to bin and go and change that ATR prefix to, oh, I don't know, gin, how about that? Uh, looks pretty good. Let's run a start batch. And look at this beautiful Genesis folder. G-E-N at the head, bin at the end, gorgeous. And a quick peek to see what that has resulted in is 2,706 more games between Genesis and Atari and clean sets too. Finally, one last thing I've got to do because the flashback really doesn't care for spaces in its file names is I'm going to take all the ROMs we just prepared, both the Atari and the Sega, and take all the spaces out of the file name. It's super easy with just one quick replace method. Now with all those ROMs inside of Renamer, I'm just going to do a quick replace and I'm going to say replace space with nothing and run that batch. Now all the other tweaks are in place plus no spaces. All that's left to do is put those all in one folder, zip them up, get them over to Murr via Dropbox. He's gonna add them to his flashback and, well, I'm not gonna steal his thunder. Murr, back to you, let's see what you got. So now it's time to throw in my tidbits of information. Guys, this is the biggest set of ROMs we've ever crammed into one of these things. I mean, there were 1,100 of them on the Flashback 9 we did. And there were over 5,000 on the original Legends Flashback when we were done with it. But on this one, between the four systems we've got ROMs of, there are over 9,000 ROMs total here. It's massive, massively massive. So herein lies the problem. After extensive testing, we have concluded that there is a limit to how much this thing will hold. Once all ROMs are on the SD card, the game files are visible, but they won't launch. We tested file names for incompatible special characters. No problems there. We tested one ROM from each system to make sure they played nice together, and they did. I don't have a target number because I wasn't going to waste time with that, but we have to assume the limit is between about 7,000 and 9,000 ROMs. So having more than 9,000, we do the obvious easy method here. Nintendo and SNES on one card, and Sega and Atari on another. A minor inconvenience to swap cards, but less games to scroll through on each one makes up for that a little bit in my opinion. Two 8 gig SD cards will suffice. I've used the 16 gig one I had, and an 8 gig spare I had floating around in my parts bin. Remember that the SD cards used must not be larger than 16 gigs. 16 is the max. If you don't see them that small in your local electronics department, Amazon actually sells them in two packs, dirt cheap. Again, this ROM set has a lot of fat trimmed off of it. Big John made sure we didn't have Sonic the Hedgehog in 17 different languages and stuff like that on here. It's neat to look at that stuff, but a clean ROM set makes for easier menu surfing. 
This unit is for sale now around 44 bucks, and while you can argue, successfully, that a RetroPie or EverDrive would be better than this, there's still more expensive options, by two and sometimes even three times the cost of this thing. And this unit has decent sounds, nifty backgrounds, and the rewind and save state features, you know, if you're into that. And the price will likely drop again on this thing, which, I mean, that only has this making more and more sense when you think about it. Man. <laughs> That's what's up, man. The At Games Legends Flashback Deluxe, now with almost 10,000 games on it. I gotta say, the sky really is the limit there. Even though there is obviously a limit to how many ROMs this thing will read at a time, there is no limit to how many SD cards you can have stacked up on your gaming table, so... I want to see systems from other games on this now. I want to see Master System. There's been talk in the comments section of past videos that we want to see ColecoVision on this thing. Because there already is ColecoVision games on this unit. They got the virtual keypad there. You can activate with the touch of a button to input the commands and play it old school. I mean, it's just really neat. Yeah, think about it for the price, what you're paying here. I mean, it's... I mean, come on. And what the price will be, because price drops are inevitable. These things always get down to near nothing. I get comments from you guys all the time on these videos about, hey, I got it for this much, or hey, I just got one for that much. I mean, it's killer. I mean, it's already a great price at where it's at, but anywhere below that, too, I think it's totally worth picking one of these up, knowing what you can do with it. I mean, it's a great streaming tool, obviously. It's HDMI ready, so great look at this thing and what it is truly capable of today. I hope that you liked what you saw here. I want to know what you think about everything that you did see here, so leave me something in the comment section of this video because you know that I love getting a conversation going with you right here on the MC Mer Show, something that we do a lot of. I hope that you're going to drop a like on this video, share it with a friend, and most importantly, if you have not already done so, I hope that you're going to subscribe to the MC Mer Show and be a part of Mer Nation, and don't hesitate to also check out EC Meyer's channel. And if you haven't checked out Big John, at Gen X Grown Up and the Gen X Grown Up Gang, you gotta check them out too. And I'm gonna have links to those channels in the description of this video for you to check out. Please do. Thank you to both of them and to all of you for watching. This was a fantastic gig, and there's gonna be more coming your way soon, I have a feeling, including but not limited to subsequent live streams to further tour the interface and some of the great games that we've put on here to enjoy. MC Mer signing off for this episode of the MC Mer Show, and I will see each and every one of you again next time.